pink. Welcome to Sleep and Angler episode 3. We're back at Podcat Qualifier at Andy's Pool near Hereford. I'm not fishing today, I'm marshalling this. Just waiting for the guys to turn up. They'll draw their pegs and see what happens. Best luck to all the actual anglers. Fishing Podcat. For more information for the podcast, you should visit the Facebook page. It's all for a charity. Check it out. Talk to you in a bit. Don can pull the first one out. Don Don's video recorders. Yeah, man. Time for the draw, guys. And the first name out. Oh! You do it, Rodri. I'll one. Peg one. one. Peg one for Rodri. Colin. <laughs> no hesitation. <laughs> Is that the one you wanted? Yeah. That's the one I would have gone as. Big four. Gone with that. Number four on the corner. Got it. Got in there. <laughs> Eight. Is there only one peg left? No, Scott. No, I've left. No. Three and five. Three and five. I believe. Yeah, we'll do the next three and five. Yeah. Oh, that's three. Big three. Three. Okay, two. yep. And then Scott's the last one in five, yeah? I'm not. Four, really. Two. 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 Yeah, try and get close to that banner, guys, as you can. If you a couple of bigger boys at the back, all we'll squeeze in. We're not going to take. Here we got all the guys fishing Andes. May the best man win, wherever that may be. Go crack on, Jay. Move across a bit, Dan. I see. It's time. We're about to start. Five, four, three, two, one. Make sure they all heard that. And we're underway. Podcast and Andes is on the roll. Qualifier. Let's see who gets through. He was doing that in this. First swing. blood. It's a hue. Five pound twelve, I think. Someone's off the mark. Lovely skating. And another carp's out. Rodri's caught this small, but it's a fish. Gets him off the mark. Not been weighed yet, so we don't know if he's first or second place. But he's had his first fish, and he's on the board. Well done, Rodri. Dan with his 12 pound four common, puts him in the lead. Well done, Dan. Let's hope we catch a few more. We got Rodri on a fish. Looking like he's gonna put himself with one foot in the semi-finals. Don't put the pressure on then, John. <laughs> don't, don't put the pressure. He's got a 
And he's in the net. And Rodri with an eight pound eight common that doesn't look very happy. But it puts <laughs> but it puts him back in the first place. Just over the halfway mark. And he's in the lead. Lovely. You back in there. So how do you feel about winning the match, dude? Would have been better if I hadn't lost the two that I'd lost, but never mind. Yeah, semi-finals here you come, going yeah, through right. as a match winner. Marvellous, cheers, job. Well done. He's, <laughs> here's a draw to get, see who gets the fourth spot to qualify for the semi-finals. Of the four blankers, one of them's going to be lucky and go through. Yeah. Draw for fourth place. You've got to make sure you pick the right one now. Dramatisation. Double two. Double two. Who is going to be the lucky angler? <laughs> I could be on YouTube again. <laughs> okay. Who's gonna love you? Who's, Who's gonna, gonna, gonna love you? Yeah. They all hate you. <laughs> <laughs> they all hate you anyway. Oh, Colin. <laughs> Twice I picked it, but they. Is that four fixed flat on fire? After marshalling, we decided um, we'd come and do a quick overnight to a Biddlestone. Within 10 minutes, I land this mirror just under seventeen pound. Not bad for ten minutes work. Let's see what else happens to that. Poached! 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 Apparently it was poached. <laughs> poached! <laughs> Again! Again! Caught on a complex tea boilie. Cast on Off my side. complex tea bed area! <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. A lot better than we saw today. Okay. <clears throat> well, after arriving last night, now in that nice mirror after 10 minutes, I had another smaller mirror about 2 o'clock this morning, about £7. Couldn't be bothered to video it because it was £7. Not a knock since, and now it's lunchtime on the Sunday. Absolute dead. I think the weather's having to do with it. Competition here yesterday, had a pretty good day, produced some nice fish. Let's hope I have something nice this afternoon. But it is a very hot day. So Biddlestone was hard, had a few fish. <coughs> <coughs> Not many. 
They did have that 17 pound on arrival. Another one in the night, a couple of small ones. It was hard going. But it's the weather, it's an absolute scorcher, and they have just spawned, so they're recovering from that. Didn't fish as best as we can, but as always, next week. That's it for this week on the Sleeping Angler. I'm not sure where we'll be next week. There might be a couple of trips next week. We'll see. I'll see you next week.